All right, everybody, and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how I made these scenes of Yakuru from Princess Mononoke inside Blender with the green pencil. Considering that my video is not a beginner video, I really recommend you to watch this video first from CG Cookie when you can learn the basic tools and the shortcuts. Link will be in my description. For this project, I did use an older version of Blender, the 2.8, but today I'm going to show you how to make it with the 2.91. The process is a bit different, but the result is still the same. So after opening Blender, let's create a new 2D animation scene. From there, let's switch into object mode, then shift A, scroll down to image and click reference. And from here, let's import a video reference that I'm going to use as a guide throughout this tutorial. So I'll let you organize your own files, but if you can't find your video reference for whatever reason, I recommend you to check this icon right here and tick movie files so you will be able to see it. Type S and let's scale it carefully to fit it into the frame. Now let's go back into draw mode and let's set up the pencil. Click on the pencil icon right here and let's select ink pencil. Let's select the materials icon with the bold shape and from there we're going to create a new materials by clicking the plus here and let's call it line. Be sure this icon is highlighted and let's change the base color. For this work I'm using a pen tablet and I prefer to uncheck the pen pressure so the tick of my line will be the same every time. If you don't have a pen tablet, it's okay, you can still achieve the work with your mouse by using these tools. Now let's start drawing. Be sure you're in the first frames and you're working on the right layers. Right here it's called lines. And now you just have to follow the reference by tracing over. So I'm going to speed up this process because otherwise it's going to be a long video. But if you want more detail about it, let me know in the commentary section. So this is how the first frame looks like so far. You can finish this animation by doing a frame by frame tracing over, but let's be honest, you're not here to hear that. You're here to know how I make it fast. Before I continue, I just want you guys to tweak something that will be a lightsaber for your PC and just turn the viewport number to 1 so your PC won't run like crazy and turn into an oven. Right now I finished to draw the free first frame and it's time to show you how I use the in-between tool. This is the tricky part of this tutorial and I really hope you guys will understand. So this is how I use the interpolation tool. So we are going to do an interpolation from the 5th frames to the 10th frames and for that you have to copy the drawing of the 5th frames and paste it to the 10th frames. The next step is to match the drawing to the reference by using the sculpting tool. This step is really important to succeed your interpolation. The key here is to match those lines with the reference by switching between sculpt mode and edit mode. Be careful to not delete any of those lines because otherwise you're gonna mess up your interpolation. In the case you accidentally delete something, it's going to look like that. After you're done matching everything, place your timelines in between those drawings and let's interpolate. In this option we have two types of interpolation, interpolate and sequences. With the interpolation you can create one specific image between those two drawings. With sequences, it will create a series of images between those two drawings. Sorry again if my explanation is a bit sketchy, but I hope you got the idea of how I use the interpolation tools. And this is probably the main secret of this whole project. By the way, if you use interpolation, you have to know that you can't rely to this tool every time. It really depends to some situation. Sometimes you can do interpolation and sometimes you have to do frame by frame. I can't explain you everything about the interpolation tools with this complex drawing, but if you're interested, I might consider to make a really basic tutorials with a ball animation. Right now, I'm just finishing the animation by using those two methods, interpolation and frame by frame. So this is the final result. Thank you. 
before going into the coloring phase i really recommend you guys to clean up the drawings and join the lines properly then go to the material tab and create a new material called edges pick up the color of your choice i'm choosing gray back to the timeline and create a new layer called edges for me it's still gp layers but make sure that layer is above lines. I'm not gonna do the edges for the whole drawing, just for a small part only. Finally, we are going to use the interpolation tool again to replicate those edges for the small part of animation. Let's set up the bucket tools. In the material tab, select solid fill. Make sure that the fill section is checked. In the viewport, make sure this icon render is selected so you will be able to see colors. Back to the timeline and make sure you are working on the fields layer. And be sure that layers is at the bottom. After selecting the bucket tool, click the icon right here so you will be able to choose whatever color you want. With this new way of coloring, I can easily create my own colors from the reference. And then it's time to coloring. This is how it looks like after tracing, making the edges and coloring. After you're done coloring, you can easily hide the edges by clicking the little eyes right here. Okay, let's do a few more frames before ending this video. And here we go, this is the final result. I know it's not the full drawing, but the goal of this video was to show you the process of how I made this animation and I hope you like it. So thank you so much for your attention. I just have one more thing to add before ending this video is to talk about the background. There is no fancy stuff that I made with Blender, so it's just a still image that I pasted in the background, so that's it.